Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can create traits in Laravel and use them. So trade allows us to write reusable piece of code and also helps us to reduce duplication of code. Traits are not a Laravel specific feature. It is a PHP feature which we can use in other frameworks as well. Let's say we have to generate a random string of x length where x can be any number. So instead of writing the same line of code in every method in, in a controller, we can create a trait which takes in the length and generate a random string. So what I have here is a fresh installation of Laravel project and the version at the time of recording is 9.2. So in order to create a trait, what we can do is create a directory and name it traits. I'm creating this directory in the root folder. Inside of this folder, I'm going to create a file named generate token.php. So inside this file, let's create our trade. And in order to create a trade, you have to use the keyword trade and then the name of the trade, which is generate token. Also, you have to give the namespace so in our case it's going to be trade since it is placed inside the root folder so we have to use that namespace and okay i forgot to add this so now we need to write our logic for generating our random string so i'm going to copy paste this and what i have done is i created a method that is going to take a parameter of length and generate a random string of that specific length also make sure that you have imported the string facade okay so we can give it a default length in case it is not passed so our logic is written right so now we need to use our trade how we can use it all right so in order to use our trade let's create a controller usb artisan make controller and let's name it test controller okay so let's say we have three function I'm going to create them for for some purpose we have we had to generate a random string in all of these methods so what we would have done is write that logic here in every method so instead we can use our tray so in order to use a thread we can do use and the name of the thread so my ide is uh, suggesting me the name so just use it it will automatically import it inside our controller so what we can do is we can simply use this and uh, what was our function name get random string right so get random string and we can pass in the length of let's say 10 and it will give us back the uh, back a string of length 10 so let's say we had to generate a 5 length string so we can simply just copy paste that line and add the length of the string so this way we can use our traits so this was just a simple example of using traits and by this you can see that we have avoided duplication of code all right, I have another example for you that will clear how you can use traits. Okay, so let's say we have to save a post and delete a post. So in order to perform those actions, we need to get the authenticated user. So let's say we have multiple guards. So we just need the authenticated user and we need to perform our action. So here you can see that we are writing a duplicate code so same code is written here and same is written here so what we can do is create a trade which will give us the authenticated user so what i've done is created a new file inside trades and named it get auth user and inside this trade i have just copy pasted the logic we had written in our controller so in order to get the authenticated user in our controller now we just need to remove this all and we can say uh, okay, so first we need to in, uh, add this trade. So we can we do use get alt user, and now we can simply write this 
get auth user so we have avoided duplication of code and you can see that if in future we have another guard and we have to make changes we we have to change only in one file and not in all the methods where we had used this logic i hope this topic of using trace in laravel is clear to you now so if you found the video useful kindly give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have any query, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video.